First, I'd like to introduce Jessica Packer, who will be presenting on Front of Pack Labels, Young People's Perspectives from a Patient and Public Involvement Session. Jessica. Today, I'm gonna to present the findings from a patient and public involvement session that was conducted with young people to find out their perspectives on Front of Pack Labels and UK policy. Front of Pack Labels are simplified nutritional labels shown on the front of food packaging, such as the example shown at the top of this slide here. With an aim to improve population health by assisting to consumers to make healthier choices and to also encourage product reformulation. Here in the UK, we currently use multiple traffic lights, which is the first front of pack label shown on this slide. But this has been reviewed by the UK government for a few reasons. Firstly, it's currently a voluntary label rather than being mandatory on all products. This was due to EU legislation at the time and can now be reviewed because of Brexit. Secondly, new labels have been developed internationally since the multiple traffic light label was chosen in 2013. Also shown on the, here on the slide are Nutriscore and warning labels. In 2020, we conducted a large randomized control trial, which was commissioned by the Department of Health and Social Care to test the ability of UK adult, adults to understand product healthiness with and without labels through a ranking task. Some examples of products with the labels you can see here on the slide. We found that all labels are effective at improving the ability to correctly rank the products with Nutri-Score followed by multi traffic lights found to be most effective. But what we were missing were the perspectives of young people. So in 2021, I ran a PPI session with a group of young people from the National Children's Bureau. The group firstly took part in a ranking task similar to the main trial, where they were asked to rank three products according to healthiness. First with no label, and then with a front of pack label, of which I've shown two examples here. We asked their views on the results of the main trial, their perceptions of the labels, their experiences with labels and suggestions for policymakers. The results of the mini experiment supported the findings of our main experiment, showing that all labels improved their ability to correctly rank the products according to healthiness, showing that they worked. Nutri-Score was found to be most effective, followed by multiple traffic lights and then positive joystick. Young people said Nutri-Score and multiple traffic lights were the easiest to understand, quickest to use and that they like them best, especially the use of color. Their policy suggestions were for a combined traffic lights and Nutri-Score label, which they thought might be the best option. In their own words, it should be a mixture of Nutri-Score because most people look at overall food healthiness and then look traffic lights, which is more useful for some people. The other policy suggestion was unanimous support for a mandatory label. Uh, one young person said, mandatory is the way to go. And another quote, front of pack labels help, but they aren't on every pack. They should be on every food. These views were presented to Department of Health and Social Care and will be included in my PhD thesis. Thank you.